Welcome to White Lecture Online. In this example here, we're going to find the parametric equations, but you'll find that they're not necessarily unique. So, in the previous example, we let x equal some function of t, and we're still going to do that. So let x equal some function of t, but they don't have to, it doesn't have to be equal to t. For example, we can say let it equal to t plus 1 instead. So now what we're going to do is we're going to plug in for every x, we're going to plug in the t plus 1 to find the corresponding parametric equation in terms of y. So since y is equal to x squared minus 4x plus 10, we're going to replace every x by t plus 1 to see what we get. So y now, which is going to be some function of t, and to differentiate it from that function, let's call it y, um, y being equal to g of t, let's write it like that, which is equal to t plus 1, quantity squared, minus 4 times t plus 1 plus 10. I think my pen is running out of ink here, so let me try a different pen. So now let's work this out. So in this case, y will be equal to t squared plus 2t plus 1 minus 4t minus 4 plus 10. Then if we combine like terms, we get y is equal to t squared 2t minus 4t. That's minus 2t. That should be a 2 right there. And uh, the constants, we have 10 plus 1 is 11 minus 4. That would be plus 7. So if we then bring this one down, we have x equals t plus 1. So these would be the two parametric equations representing the equation y equals x squared minus 4x plus 10. So that's how we do that. That's how we derive the parametric equations. And notice we can actually put in any function for t and it would work. We'll get some set of parametric equations that way. Not necessarily the simplest ones, but that's how it's done.